body workout today. We're going on level two dumbbells and horizon trainer uh, balance ball. So welcome everybody in social media land, um, whether you're joining me from and viewing me on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, welcome. Uh, maybe you're seeing this recording later on, and I hope this is a helpful workout for you guys. Uh, it's lower body today. We did level one the other day. It is on YouTube recorded. And today, level two is just going to be a little more challenging in terms of our balance on the horizon trainer. Uh, and you can uh, um, up the weights if you want. And, you know, we're working lower body, so there's going to be a lot of it's really about putting more weights when we do the work, okay? Well, I'm not going to be doing upper body weight stuff, so you can add more weight to give your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, your calves more work. So welcome. Please let me know where you're joining me from. If you have the, the Horizon Trainer, um, I'm working today with the PowerFlow Pros. I've got different PowerFlow products. This one I just kind of like because I can go from four pounds to 55, although I don't think I'll ever do 55, but who knows. Um, and uh, we're gonna go through a, a series of exercises. We're gonna warm you up, then I've got squats, deadlifts, side lunges with a little enhancement. We're gonna do some curtsy lunges, some side squats with an enhancement, a leg lift. Uh, warrior, we're going to practice some warrior three. And if you're a yoga person, you know what that means. It's a single leg hinge. And then we're going to do bridges, which I always love to do. And we're going to cool you down. So similar to the level one, because I want you to go level one first and then move to level two. And uh, things are in the works to get a few more workouts, a little more intense workouts for you fitness enthusiasts that need to crank it up a bit more. But a couple rules. Um, they're not rules, but suggestions. Uh, make sure you have, you're hydrated and you are fueled up before you work out. This, you're working big muscles here. These are the heaviest muscles in our body and um, they, they pump a lot of blood and you'll, you'll become a little aerobic or anaerobic in there, meaning you'll breathe it a little heavier. So make sure you stay hydrated, have water handy, take breaks when you need to. My goal always is to make this workout less than 30 minutes and I like to chit chat just for a short time. And I know I don't like to hear a lot of garbage, you know, that's it. a lot of chatter. I want to get into the workout. So that's my goal for you. So um, have a chair ready. Okay. Cause and some of this stuff when we're doing the single leg work, you know, it's, it's, it's hard stuff and balancing on a uh, balance trainer is not easy. It's just not easy period. And then you just do it with one leg and it thinks it's crazy and you add a weight and then it gets crazier. So let's begin, okay? I want to get into this workout. It's Friday. I got a few more things to do before I start my weekend. Well, I still work on Saturdays, but okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to make sure that you can see me and I'm not that the trainers. I'm, I'm not using my wide leg camera, camera today. And hopefully that helps you to see me better. I'm not so small. Um, so we're going to begin with the warm up. So take a big breath in, make sure you exhale all your air, head, shoulders, hips are in alignment. We're gonna step up and down and you're gonna go kind of quickly here, okay? So it's up, up, same leg, up, up, down, down. Inhale, exhale, okay? Make sure your head's not leading, it's your chest that's up. Let's go about, we're gonna do about 10 on one side, then we're gonna add, switch the lead leg, three, Two, you can pop your arms a little bit, and one. Switch the lead leg up, up, down, down. You might have to even say that to yourself. Left up, left down. Especially because that's not your dominant leg. Usually the dominant one always wants to take over. Breathe all the air out. Two more. And one more. Okay, all right, how are we going? And I'm going to move my weights just a little tiny bit up to the side, just a bit so I don't step into them. And we're going to do a side step, okay? So it's up, up, down, down, up, 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 pop. I just tap the top all the way over. Exhale all that stale air. Five, four, three, two. One, other side, okay? So it's up, up, down, down. You can increase the speed if you want. Pop, pop it up, pop it up. I, 
I count, I know I'm breathing. Or if I just big, do big exhales, okay, four, three, two, and one. All right, the last one we're gonna do is uh, over the top. So I'll do the slow to start, and then you can decide how fast you wanna go. It's up, up, down, down, up, up, okay? So I'm not looking down, okay? Oops, I don't wanna look down, I want my head up. Because that balance trainer isn't going anywhere. It's you to, so you have to make sure you're clear for space for your foot to tap down and up and over and up and over. You can hit a hop. Okay. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. Then you get hurry, go and grab some water. That was just about three minutes to warm things up. You can't really let the heart rate come down a bit. So suggestion when you're doing this workout is to add intervals like that. The little high intensity, and then you bring it down with some weight workout. Squats, first, first round. So I'm gonna have just seven pounds for this one. Actually, you could probably do nine or 11, okay? Um, I've already worked out a couple times today, so I'm going a little bit on the light side, but what I am gonna do is flip over my balance trainer. If this is new for you, let me explain how to do this, okay? I'll just, for a second. Oops. They're durable, they don't break. Hand on the wall, hand on the end, okay? Then you step up and you adjust your feet. Okay, you want to get used to this left and right kind of feeling. The legs are wide. Okay, I don't go very narrow on this because my center is very round. Okay, then you get off, lean, and step back. Now, it takes some practice, but if you are doing a level two, that should be something that you are capable of doing with time, if not today, soon. Grab your weight, okay? It's going to be... In the outside hand, I'm gonna pop up and push down. Okay, so find, now be careful when you look down here, okay? Let your eyes look down and then come back up. But don't bring your head down because it challenges everything. Now I get used to this softness in your knees. And if you've ever been on a boat, put your weight just here, you know what it's like. Okay, so you wanna be able to be ready for this. So I'm gonna have you just take a little baby squat down and then back up, okay? Inhale, push your butt back, and exhale. You're gonna only go as low as you feel comfortable to do. You can come down really low. You might let your elbows touch your hips. You see my fingers are right by my chin, so I'm not pushing my chin out, I'm pushing my chin in. I'm gonna take a big breath in, and exhale up, okay? That's your option. Okay, down, power up. Breathe in. It is your glutes that are gonna squeeze at the top so you don't lock out your knees. And another breath in and out. This is a big calorie burner, guys. Breath in, out. How about three more of these? Okay, always find your balance. I'm not gonna go down so low for the last three, but you can. We're gonna take our time. Elevator goes down and the elevator comes up. Squeeze, push through the heels. Hold this next one in pulses. Eight, seven, six. Watch the knee tracking over the middle toe. Four, three, two, and power up. Excellent. Shift and come off. Oh. I did put my, started my um, Apple Watch to see how many calories I burned and what my heart rate is. So it's always fun to see. Okay, I told you seven pounds. Grab a matching set. If you have two, if you only have one, stick with the one, okay? That's the beauty of this workout. You don't need two, the two sets, one is fine. But if you have two, grab it. So I'm gonna go seven, seven. Seven is my favorite number, my lucky number, okay. We're gonna mount the balance trainer again. Put it on one side, 
shift and lift and come up. And let your feet adjust. Make sure you have really good fitness sneakers that have some good traction. If they're worn out, they're gonna slide, okay? And uh, you don't want that. So we're gonna do a deadlift, okay? You're gonna keep your hands kind of pressed against your thighs. And you hinge from the hips. The eyes look down and you push your butt back. There's a soft bend in my knees here. Squeeze your butt and lift your chest, okay? You're gonna take an inhale, flat back. I don't want your shoulders to drop, okay? Pull those shoulders back and lift. I'm gonna go from the side so you can see me on this. Keep going. If you're, if you're working out, keep going. And uh, I'll join you to show you the side angle of this, okay? Get your posture, okay, nice and tall, and you hinge. You can come down lower, okay? But I want you to make sure that you push your butt back and come up. If it's too much on your back, don't go that low. I want just a soft bend. Ideally, our legs are straight, but um, because of this imbalance, I want a soft bend, okay? That makes it different than when traditional weight training. Soft bend, push back, push butt, push, push, push. Keep those shoulders back. And then exhale, squeeze your butt. This is a great back strengthener besides glute or butt kicker. <laughs> Breathe, weights in your heels, and you come up. So you can see how two weights make a difference here. You can always have that one weight. Tuck the chin in. Super important, guys. Pull that chin, pull your belly in, and then squeeze your butt. Okay, let's do about four more. I'm not going to do anything fancy with this. Being on the flat part of the balance trainer, push, shift your hips back and come up. Generally, I think just to the thigh, uh, to the knees, okay? Like you're shaving your thighs, ladies. And then slide up the weights to your hips. Stand tall, that's your end range. Let's do two more. Breathe in, belly tight. Exhale, power up. Smoothly down, smoothly up. There's a slow inhale and a long exhale. And then step off. Killer, huh? So uh, shake out your legs a little bit. You can stick with that one weight, that's fine. I'm gonna set it up to the side for a moment and then flip the dome. We're gonna be on the dome side for our side lunge with a leg lift. So pick one side. I'm gonna do on my right leg first. I'm, I'm right leg dominant. I'm gonna left handed, which is so weird, okay? So side lunge, okay, you're gonna lean into it. Actually, let's put that weight over. Let's get used to that first, okay? Take it over, hinge. Okay, feel that hinge. I did this in level one. Okay, just kind of get you ready for it. Okay, then we're gonna come up. Actually, I think I'm gonna try my weight here. Yeah, I think I'm, I like it here. Okay, and up here and lunge. So hinge, lift. Lift, that's it. Lean, press into it. Now, I'll go back to here another I have to exercise. You could hold two weights. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to give you this option because I, I did practice with it like this. Okay, weight by your knee. You're going to lean into it and lift. There we go. Eight, seven. Lean in and lift six. Lean in, lift five. Four, three, and one. Hold it up. Yeah, two ways really work well. One, if you only have it, it's fine with me. <laughs> you might even try it up here. Play with where the weights are and see where the muscles kick in more for you in your body. Okay, so my knees pointing over my toes, my other toes are pointing toward you. And I just want to feel that side lunge contracting and pushing off. Breathe it in. Get the feel. That if you have the second weight, put it down your hip or your thigh like you're going to lift that thigh. Ready to try it? Take a side lunge and lift. Side lunge and lift. Side lunge, lift. Over and up. Over 
Get that leg to lift up high, ladies and gentlemen. Five, four, three, maybe catch some air and hold it. Two, and one. Excellent. Roll your shoulders out. And set one weight in this crazy. Okay, I'm going to go for a split lunge now. I'm going to do a little bit without weights to show you this. I've done it on the rumblex, the vibration plate. So either way, it's going to be challenging. You're going to step up, and you're going to land with a little lunge, and you're going to come up and step back, okay? Take your time with this. Up and forward, up and back. Okay, that's the move. You can, at the end range, let me make sure I'm remembering everything. You can do that 90 90, okay? Come up. You've got to take a big step forward to get it. Now you have to push back, catch your balance. It has to be a big step back to lunge, okay? Add weight. Where do you want to put it? Option one, option two, option three. I'm going to hold it on the leg that's moving today. Okay, so that's going to make this leg work a lot more. Okay, so I'm going to come up. I'm going to find my lunge. Okay, I'm going to press up and back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Or do the reverse breath. Maybe you exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Okay. How about four more of these guys? Up and down, up and down. If this bothers your knees, you know the deal, stay back. Just do these, okay? That's fine, okay? Up and back. I can't even turn my head to look at you guys, see if there's any comments, so I'm not going to. Up, one more forward. Push up and down and up and down. Okay, how about that? Pretty wild, huh? I'm gonna face you for the next set. How, how are you doing out there? If you're liking this workout, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you like it, but you don't want to do it, <laughs> or you, you're thinking about doing it. You know, you can do this without the balance trainer until you get one. You can do it on with your on a pillow, a bolster, something that's squishy to challenge your stability in your hip joints. Okay, so find yourself on the top. Okay, okay, and then come forward and bend. Whoa, and up. And it's got to be a big step back, and you bend. Connect, tap, bend in, push up, and you're on your toe. You roll off the back foot up. And then back down. <laughs> I had to really think about that one. And back down. You want to have your arm hanging here? Try that. It might give you a different experience. I like it up. That's me, my body, my back. Some people like it here. Honestly, if you try the different ways, you're going to find the one that works for you. Depends what's going on in your... Um, the skeleton axis, you know, the axis, your central frame. Some people like weights lower. I'm a big extension person. I like to lift up. That's me. Some people are more flexion. I lost count, so that must be a good thing that this is becoming more doable. One more time forward and back and forward. And back. Nice work. Okay. Get rid of the weight for a second. Let's hydrate everybody. Take a little water, okay? We're uh, it's about 15 plus minutes into this. We've got half, we're halfway through. Okay. We're gonna do a little curtsy lunge. Now I'm not gonna do any weight on this. It is super important. You watch this knee that's on top. 
You come back up and out and curtsy and out. It's like crossover. Now there's two ways. You can have your hips square and cross over. The knee's gonna go out a little bit, okay? The curtsy lunge, you rotate your hip. I like that one. I like the rotation. Try it with me. Five, four, three, okay, watch that knee. Two, one, like that one, and one. Okay, other side. Now, I didn't add weight to that because of, there's, of the angles of the knees. Whew, let's see what that heart rate's doing. 130, aerobic. Now, you can add weight. Okay, I'm not doing it for this one because I knew this was going to be high aerobic for me. Okay, only level two here. Okay, so you're going to come back. Let me find my alignment. Okay, start with where your hips are and your knee, and then you cover no oh, over. And take it back and turn that hip. You'll get a groove going. My hips rotate and out. Uh, Dig into that heel. That's the game changer there. And watch how you land on the back leg. Eyeballs handy for a reason. Inhale, exhale. Get a big lift up and over. Five, four, three, two, one more, guys. And done. Awesome. So that was a nice little aerobic interval in here, okay? And now we're gonna work on the warrior leg lift. So here comes our chair. And again, no weights on this yet. Okay, these are more advanced moves. So we don't really need weight training for this. It's instability work, balance work. Okay, we just worked, where leg you worked, which was my right. I'm gonna go on my left leg. Okay, it's gonna be my right butt muscle that's gonna kick in. So basically, I'm gonna take a step and I'm gonna hinge forward and then like lift up and back down. Now, chin placement. Put your hands under your chin to help you not to lift, drop your head as you lift. Now, you can always do this. Hinge, tip, lift the leg, and find that leg, okay? That's what I'm shooting for eventually, this, okay? It's not a perfect world. So my weight's back, I'm gonna roll forward and lift. Not cheating, okay? Looking for best form. Take it forward, exhale, push, lift, whoop. <laughs> Couple more, okay? Hinge your best, the best two. Breathe, forward, you're gonna roll off that back heel, push down on the top of the balance trainer, straighten your legs, and then land soft. Okay, one more. Hinge and lift, lift that leg. Find your balance. Okay, hold on to the chair, lower and lift your extended leg. Eight, seven, six, get light on it. Five, maybe one hand comes up, four, Three, two, one, and release. Whew. Right in that standing leg. Good stuff. Okay, next side. Second verse, same as the first. Okay, you know what to expect. I always find the second side gets it quicker. Okay, there's some proprioception in the brain here. It's got it figured out. You're gonna hinge forward. You're leaning, there's a long line. Ideally, we're picking up as we come forward, okay? And then back down, soft landing. Feel your toes spread wide. Hinge and lift and lower. Keep the chin tucked. Find a focus on your chair. As I push out, lift, lift, lift and lower. You'll get it. See how that second side is just getting it more. And this is not necessarily my stronger hip. It's a lead leg for sure, but I got issues in my tissues. And that's the thing about, this is great, non or low, very low impact. So it's great for my joints, your joints, to get some weight bearing, but not impact. 
Working on stability. Breathe. Okay, how about two more? You can start feeling it. You know you're, you're at the end of the game. Breathe in. Hinge. Lift. One more time, and we're gonna stay lifted. Hinge forward, breathe, press down, lift that back leg, hold it there. Now we're gonna lower and lift. You can use your fingertips on the chair. Eight, seven, give it a big push. It's your thigh bone, not your foot. Six, belly in, five, chin tucked. Four, strong in both heels, push up. And one. Release. Nice work, everybody. Shake out your hips, bend your knees. Little side to side movement. Flush out those joints. Okay, last but not least, we go to bridges. You can remove your chair, you don't need it. Okay, I'm gonna move my camera down a little bit more so you see more of me on the floor. And I want you to grab a heavier weight. Okay, I've been messing with seven pounds for the most part today. Um, I'm going to go to 11 pounds on this next one. You can go 13, 16, and you know, I, I, I can't tell you. You've got to be true to yourself about being able to feel stable, strong, focused, okay? So we're going to flip our dome. Flip it, okay? Many of us at this stage of our fitness understand bridges. There's hip rolls where you literally roll up. I've taught a lot of that in our core training and Pilates. This is gonna be a hip hinge. You're literally lifting up as one unit. So, scoot close by, grab that weight. We're gonna do a couple of hip thrusts, then we're gonna go right into single leg. Okay, so the, the leg lifts and circles. The weight's going to be a little different for each of these. So right now for the hip thrust, I'm holding on to the weights, pushing them to my thighs, chin tucks in, feet flat. I'm going to thrust up and drop. I'll do about, oh, let's do about eight of these. This is four, press into the feet, five, look at your knees, six, seven, just to get everything in place, eight, hold there. Okay, reach up and hold. Now anchor your shoulders. I'm gonna have walk your left foot into the center of that dome and you're gonna lift that right leg up. Okay, straight to the sky. Drop and lift. Let's go six and five, four. There's a reason why I'm doing six. Three, two, hold it up. We're gonna lower and lift. Try to tap that weight. Lower, lift. Lift your hip on that, it wants to come down. You don't have to make the moving leg go any lower than the knee that's bent. It's just more challenging. Three, two, hold it. Now, point the toe to the sky, make six circles. One, two, cross your thigh. Three, four, five, Six, reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Foot comes down, but your butt stays lifted. Stay lifted, focus on this. Move your right leg to center. You gotta kind of wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Negotiate. Okay, we're gonna lift up and we're gonna drop and lift. Okay, drop and reach the toes to the sky. Exhale. You only have three more of these. The, the foot that's on the, the, the dome or on the, the flat spot's gotta push all the way down. One more, hold it up. Now you lower and lift, touch the weight. Lower, lift your hips. Lower and lift, three more. If it's burning, blow off that hot, that heat. And one, hold it, you're circling. Six, five, they don't have to be big, four, but they need to be round. Three, two, one, reverse it. Six, five, cross center, four, three, 
The weight over your shoulders keeps your upper body anchored, by the way. Did you notice that? And bring it down. Lift the hips high. Bring the weights down and roll down. Oh, release your weight. You're going to keep your legs where they're at, but just cross one over. And then just rock a little side to side here. Put your hands behind your head. Just look toward your belly. Feel a little stretch in your neck, especially if you're a chin popper. Okay, switch sides. Nice little roll. Cross over. Little side to side hip roll. We'll massage you in the lower back and right where those the piriformis attaches. How's our time? Not bad. We're at 32 minutes. No, actually less than that. 30 minutes? Yeah, we're 30 minutes into from the time of this live started, so that's great. Okay, be careful when you roll up. Come to the side, take your time, roll up. Awesome. Okay, guys, you're gonna go ahead and put your legs over the dome. Okay, flip it over. Okay, stretch your lower back, touch your toes. Your legs go wide. You wanna kind of stretch those inner thighs. Lean for it, hug that dome. Get those legs to lengthen up. Take your right arm, reach to your right ankle, get a side stretch here. Come back, reach to the other side. Here's an inner thigh, side stretch. We work the butt a lot, so I want you to sit on the dome one more time. Come on up. So in level two, you're on the floor a little bit more, right? Okay, let's go ahead and one more figure four stretch, because again, we worked a lot of hips. Cross your leg, you're gonna take your hands underneath your thigh, Walk it in, grab it as much as you can. Push that knee down. Okay, hang out here. What works for you? Hey, Mary Beth, glad you can join me today. Hope you're having a great Friday. And then let's release that. You want to hold each of these stretches for about three breaths. Scoot it in a little closer. Remember, this knee goes down. You might be up here in the beginning. That's okay. It happens to the best of us. The more we can. Work in mobility in your hips, which we're always doing in all our exercises with our Life Pro our classes. Mobility, stability, flexibility, power, strength. That is the name of the game. As we get old, we don't want to lose any of that stuff. Super, actually, we need it more than ever. And then bring your foot down, bring your knee, feet together, knees apart. And you're just going to let your legs walk nice and wide here. And then knees together, straighten your legs out, flex your feet. Okay, pull your toes up. There's a good hamstring stretch here, pushing your butt back. Take a big breath in, interlace your fingers, stretch up. Hands go behind the head. You know, it's my favorite. It gets you back in alignment. Just sit nice and tall. Keep your feet active. Keep pushing your big toe toward this, your um, electronic device, your little toe, or the big toe mound, the little toe, pull it toward your knees. Take a few big breaths in and longer breaths out. You've completed your lower body workout on the Horizon Trainer with your dumbbells. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Um, I have burned uh, actively 160 calories today, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I hope you have an awesome weekend. If you have any questions, any challenges, anything, just private message me and, or put it in the chat on the VIP group or, or this, this uh, feed, and I will catch it hopefully sooner than later and answer you back. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It's Roseanne Zapp from here, Scottsdale, Arizona, with my Lift Pro, Life Pro, Lift Pro, Life Pro uh, home gym. Have a great day.